good day to you, partner. I'm Dean, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. Hey guys, with Solo here, aka the Skeleton King. So I am showing you something very strange on the screen. It appears to be a really shitty barbarian, and it actually is a really shitty barbarian. I've actually got uh, good news and bad news this video, so I'm going to start out with the bad news. This build doesn't work. What this build is trying to be is a pacifist barbarian, and it was requested by uh a f uh, follower on my youtube channel whatever they're called <laughs> not a subscriber i think it's a, maybe it's a subscriber yeah not a partner uh, i don't know anyways it's a subscriber somebody likes comments follows you know that jazz and he wanted me to do a find item barbarian pacifist style and by the way find item was nerfed in pd2 so just keep that in mind it's definitely not as good as it used to be. There is one thing interesting about about find item is that it isn't affected by SCR, so I think that's kind of cool. And it definitely makes SCR less important for the build because that was part of the reason for Naja's Puzzler. But I actually think Naja's Puzzler is low-key really good on this build if you do want to make it um, because you're definitely going to want to blink around a bit. And you can't really afford to use Ligma because Steel Carapace is just too good. That you know, thousands of ATD is really going to help you do this build. Now, basically, this is strictly a worse version of Pacifist Doodoo. And why is that? Well, Pacifist Doodoo has Spirit of Borbs. And Spirit of Borbs is like 5,000 ATD. And you combine that with the Emilio Act 2 Merc. And you combine that with <laughs> all the gear. You can basically get up to 16k ATD. The Barbarian doesn't get Spirit of Borbs, so you have the Act 2 Merc, you have all of the gear, and so you're basically capped at around 10,000, or quite a bit less. Now, but you do have Open Wounds, but that also requires different gear. Now, I guess I should throw in this caveat, maybe there's a min-max where you actually go way more into ATD, and the Open Wounds helps you just a little bit, but as you could see from when I was running the uh, Pacifist Barbarian doing Find Item, it just takes too many attacks. I don't do enough ATD, and Open Wounds takes too long to kill things. Now, if you're actually wanting to just spam Find Item, I do think the build kind of works. Now, you have to go really tanky with it, which is why I actually ran the Shield, the Sword Guard, with the uh, shout for all the defense and Emilio really helps out again on that. I was actually thinking about maybe I should try to run an Act 3 Holy Shock Merc and since the build is so slow because you're actually going to spam find item, you probably can do it. Now the reason I didn't had actually less to do with my defense, although that actually matters, um, it actually had to do with the fact that um, the Merc will get themselves killed if you're just running through a map. Now, if you're just standing there spamming find item, it's possible you could just run the Act 3 Holy Shock Merc and get the static field. I still think he'll probably get himself killed if you're just spamming find item, but if anybody out there really wants to pursue this, they saw the first part of the video and went, that seems like something I want to do with my life. You know, there was a French guy sitting in a dental office in his chair, and when he saw the Twin Towers being constructed, you know, rest in peace... <laughs> Uh, he said to himself, I got to uh, tightrope across those things. And he had never tightrope before. And, you know, so if, if you get a calling in your life, follow it, brother. Um, I Again, find items nerf. So just keep that in mind. Find item really isn't that good. But moving on to what we're seeing now, what's on the screen right now, which is what people are asking themselves. Well, this is Whirlwind, one point, blood letter, same everything else. So I still have some ATD. I'm generally prioritizing open wounds over ATD. Again, going back to the pacifist build, I actually think you should go with ATD over open wounds. Um, the open wounds is way too slow. And again, maybe there's a min-max where open wounds helps you out a bit. I don't think so. But with this version of the build, open wounds is really good. Why? Well, because I've got Whirlwind and I've got these blood letters on and I'm able to basically apply all three stacks of open wounds instantly and things die. Now it's one point whirlwind. Blood letter is a uh, elite based weapon or 
exceptional. It's the one in between, okay? It's the one that you find in Nightmare, right? So it's actually very low damage. So basically all the damage I'm doing is from the open wounds. And then again, if you see a little spark, it's ATD. Uh, also, there is Crushing Blow. And I actually thought to myself that actually if you wanted to make this build, getting some Crushing Blow would be very nice. Now, I don't recommend Act 3 Holy Shock Merc with this version of the build because I really do think he's going to get himself killed. And also, Vigor is just super nice for... Um, a whirlwind based barbarian now you don't need faith or anything because the uh, frames per attack is capped on whirlwind or static now so all you got to do is worry about movement speed which is why i went with the act one physical merc and then put a harmony on her because it's like well, why would I put Faith on an Act 1 Vigor Merc? And there really wasn't another option. I thought about Ice, maybe. And, you know, since her gear is so un inoptimal on this version of the build, that definitely could work. But I think, actually, um, an Act 1 Physical Merc with proper gear, I just threw it together really, really quickly. Basically, her frames per attack is way too low. She's got a Colossal Crossbow, not a Gorgon or Demon with a little bit of IAS. And so that's kind of why she attacks so little. But I actually think she could kind of help fill out a little bit of the damage that you're missing. Because basically, I'm going to be leaving mobs alive. But if you actually want to be anal about it, it's not that hard to kill everything. So what's the cool thing about this build and why do I think it was actually good news and this should be on your radar? Well, if you're making a Barbarian and you're sick of making a Goldfine Barbarian early in the ladder, I actually think that, by the way, I realized I didn't have any Masteries because I was originally playing a Pacifist Barbarian. And so, you know, you can throw some points in there, which means probably cut a little bit of points out of Shout or something. And then your my AR was way too low, which is why I was missing attacks. And I actually think I felt like my, you know, I just gained 10% chance to hit basically. And that made it feel a lot better because I think I was actually missing multiple hits sometimes on the same mob so they're only getting one stack of open wounds rather than all three which is what really makes them pop instantly um also i end up putting it on another raven frost because the rings uh, carry-ons as you can see from the original part i didn't think were actually that good for this version of the build because i needed cannot be frozen now with corruptions you could definitely get cbs somewhere else on your gear but the Raven Frost was good, and then the other ring was supposed to be a Nature's Peace for Oak Sage, because 200 ATD wasn't going to be that good, and I felt like having a little more life regen might be nice, uh, especially on the other version of the build where things die a lot slower. Um, you can definitely die playing a pacifist build, trust me, so regen is important. Now, with this version of the build, I don't even cast him, and I never even think about casting him, because Blood Letters give plus 13 life after each kill, each one of them. And they also give a nice chunk of open wounds, I think about 500. So basically, I was invincible. And that's the good news, is that these weapons are really easy to come by, and you can make a one-point open wound barbarian and go straight into mapping. Now, your defense is going to be lower, so I recommend probably sticking with Emilio at first, depending on the, uh, the rest of the gear to fill out what you have. Now, are there any options besides Steel Carapace that are cheap early on? Yes, there's something called Stone, insanely good. Of course, Shaft Stop, etc. I'm actually going to show at the end of the video that plus skills on, op on the, whatever the skill is called, God, I really don't know, the new Open Wound skill for Barbarians is really bad. It only adds about plus 60 open wounds per um, per soft skill point, which is why the mastery skill charms really don't matter. You could have AR charms or something, or just gold find charms, which is kind of when I show that off. Now, this is when I put on a Meshermits, and I just wanted to show off that there is another option, and I also wanted to show people that Meshermits really isn't better, and it really didn't feel better. And I think Champion Axes axes actually have a pretty small range um, basically weapons have an add player range value and i believe champion axes have one of the lowest add player range values for a pull arm and it just happens to be the one with open wounds now could you just run a steel pillar yes but again i was kind of trying to keep with the theme of open wounds and although steel pillar isn't really desired anymore so i guess you could call it budget you know, if anybody out there wants to make this sex season, then yeah, a steel pillar would probably be a great option um, just for that extra range. But yeah, the champion, I think, might have one more range than the blood letters, if that, and it just really wasn't a noticeable difference. 
and I'm basically losing a lot of chances to stack the open wounds because, um, yeah, of, of having the blood letters on. And it's just exactly same things just pop way, way, way quicker. So uh, I also show off the scalpels, the little Francesco weapons, and they're very good. Now, I think they are worse because they don't have life after each kill. And so basically, like if you just got blood fist and you got blood letters and a stone, I think you could basically run this and never die in a T1 map early on so i think that's really cool and it kind of opens up the options for barbarians early on unless you you know want to just <laughs> craft an op2 hander and just play a more standard build but why would you want to play a more standard build i mean that's why you guys are watching my channel so any any other information about open wounds yes i will be making a video talking about what we found out about open wounds why there seemed to be a weird interaction with dummies coming up and that was actually, it actually was pretty interesting. And it basically has to do with life regen. Dummies have zero life regen. And for some reason, on an enemy with zero life regen, ATD does not proc open wounds on the first hit. Now, going beyond this, it's not like a problem with dummies. There are enemies in the game with zero life regen. And so if you have a pacifist build... <laughs> <laughs> based on open wounds and they hit you, it's going to take two hits to start the open wounds procs. Um, and it's just a weird little bug in the game. It's actually not a bug with dummies. So my apologies, Rin Rin. And by the way, Rin Rin definitely talked about all of this once before, and I must have had a hard time with English. So open wounds works as intended. Now there is one other slight thing. Rin is saying that the damage is closer to half of sheet value rather than the full stated amount. So what does that mean? When you have all three stacks up, it's 1.5 times that number on your player tab, not three times that number. So it's gonna be 0.5 for one stack, 100% for two stacks, and then 150% for three stacks. And I kind of show off some of my values right there. I'm gonna put the blood, blood moons, is that what they're called? They're called blood letters. And um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go to the town and show off some gear options. Now, you might be wondering why I have the Arachnid Mesh, and that's actually because having Nauseous Puzzler on the offhand is really nice because it's cheap again. And if you're going to be running this, you're going to want a form of Blink or else farming will just be way too obnoxious. Now, if you stick to mapping, Blink is less important but if you want to do any other sort of farming early on which there usually is a reason to like even doing provincial having this nauseous puzzler to blink over there real quickly is nice and there's not really another belt you can use for this build like yeah you can go dungles etc i guess you could argue that arachnid mesh is expensive especially early on that's true um, but there's actually one interesting thing you could do. Yeah, I'm like, I guess band of sp <laughs> skulls, but <laughs> definitely not a budget item. Um, there is one other thing you can do, and that's to start running gold fine. Now, if you go to your Geed's Charm, which I'm going to find eventually, I think. I still can't find it. I'm going to swap it for one of the mastery charms and it's basically pointless to have plus skills anyways. So that's part of the reason why you can run stone or any high defense armor. Uh, I forget what the other one is called. Maybe I'll link it um, later on when I'm editing this video together. Uh, but there are a few um, high def options. And as you can see, when I switch it to Geeds, almost nothing happened. So when you go and you're playing this build and you want magic fine, well, guess what? You can do it, and then you could put a gold wrap on instead of the arachnid mesh, and that very much is very, very budget. You don't even need a good core for it. And then you could even go crazy and put on chance guards, but I actually thought to myself that like chance cards might be a little iffy because you are losing a lot of life after each kill, but it is something else you could do with this build because... Uh, you also lose open wounds. But again, as you can see, the damage wasn't really the issue with this build. So if you wanted to play it, I think having some magic find is probably fine. And um, basically, that's going to be it, guys. Skelly King out. GG. Come play with us, Danny. Forever.